Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft, here on the Wii U edition of Minecraft. Wait, I said that twice. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to another episode of the Super Mario series. Again, we are going to have another one of these exciting episodes where I go around, but actually today, guys, we're going to be talking about something different. Um, different. Not my channel. Okay, a little bit about my channel. But guys, if you did not know, they had the release trailer and the release event for the Nintendo Switch, the new console coming on March 3rd or something. I think it's March 3rd. Something like that. But guys, it is coming. Uh, the Nintendo Switch is coming, and we are preparing over here, um, you know, at the Tripolar, the Groupling stations or whatever. We are getting ready for the Switch to come. So, guys, today we're going to be talking about my personal Switch predictions, things I would like to see on the Switch, like games and stuff like that, and what my channel is going to do with the Switch in the future. So, guys, if you could down, go down below and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for more content every single day and hit that bell as well to get notifications on when my videos actually come out but today we are being joined by nick joe and verducci and joseph will probably come in as well i can see him dancing around on my screen right now kind of hilarious folks but guys if you could drop a like let's see if we get over 1000 likes on today's video that would be absolutely amazing so guys without further ado let's get into these nintendo switch predicts predictions now one thing that i'm predicting that a lot of people haven't if you guys didn't know already there is a mario kart 8 port coming out for the nintendo switch which is going to be called mario kart 8 deluxe now this deluxe edition is going to include the new battle mode maps and battle mode gameplay sort of things um to make battle mode better because it's kind of trash right now on the mario kart deluxe edition so it's coming out with that it is also coming out with three new cards i believe the clown car and two squid cars uh, inkling cars and then it is also coming out with five new characters. Now, I'm going to get to a little of why five is kind of weird uh, and my predictions for five in a second. But the characters that are cons uh, confirmed and we know are coming out are Bowser Jr., which I'm actually so excited for. I cannot wait to race as Bowser Jr. I'm probably going to play as him all the time. If you guys don't know, he's my favorite character of all, baby, of all. So... Bowser Jr. is coming, as well as, um, who else is coming? Oh, King Boo, uh, Dry Bones, um, and Inkling Girl and Inkling Boy. They're actually counting them as two different players. I know, kind of lame, but, uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, those are the players that are coming out, uh, for the console, uh, or for the Deluxe Edition. But guys, I have a conspiracy theory uh, after watching some people play the game and go through the character selection, the selection, I have a conspiracy. If you guys look at the, any gameplay or any, you know, map of the new character select list, in the bottom right-hand corner, there is a question mark. Now, if you've played Mario Kart at all before, and you've played Mario Kart 8, and you, you, you know, you're unlocking the characters, you know that question mark comes up when you are going to unlock a character. So my, and uh, listen, these are my other sides to this. In the DLC, the first DLC, which included Link, uh, Tanuki Mario, and Cat Suit Mar uh, Peach, and the uh, second one, which included uh, Animal Crossing Villager, um, Isabelle from Animal Crossing, and Dry Bowser, all included three people each. So each of those included three new, oh, there's Joe, three new playable characters. Um, in each DLC pack. So it's kind of weird that they're coming out with five DLC characters when really are, are new characters when they should be coming out with six plus that uh, question mark in the bottom is, um, you know, we don't even know what that is. That's that, that's the symbol for a, a not unlocked character yet. So my prediction is that Nintendo is not releasing the final character that is going to be on the roster. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, Tripolar, th that's buttons just for selecting random characters. Well, although that may be true, and you may also make the case that is for the Miis, I believe that this is not the case at all. Because if you notice, uh, I have seen people do the uh, gameplay and scroll over 
and they do it very quickly. I don't think Nint Nintendo must have put out to these select people who got in contact, who got the game early, not to roll over uh, that random, because I watched one where they were going to King Boo, and they went over it quickly, and nothing happened. It had no random. It did not say random. It had nothing. It was literally just nothing, just like an unlockable character uh, would be in the current Mario Kart 8. So my prediction is that they are waiting and they're going to put out a new character for the release of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that we have not seen yet. Now, if you want to know my um, my predictions for these characters, I have four. Uh, actually, no, I have five possible predictions, which I'm going to tell you about right now. So if you notice in that bottom corner, again, if you're looking at the picture of it, you notice in that bottom corner, it is the full row of characters who are not from the immediate Mario universe. They are not from the immediate Mario style games that we have come. Actually, I have six people. It could be actually uh, to that. We, you know, we know and love the six, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. What am I talking about? The the character, the Mario games that we know and love. They are Link, uh, Girl Villager, Boy Villager, Inkling Number One, uh, Inkling Boy, Inkling Girl, and Isabel from Animal Crossing. All players that are not in the immediate Mario universe, but are Nintendo games and not from directly the Mario games. Now, here is my prediction for the six possible characters that could take up that final spot. Number one. Actually, hold up. I have seven. I'm just going to say all of them. Number one, and the most, the character I think it's most likely going to be is Professor Egag from Luigi's Mansion series. Now, you guys may be saying, well, Tripolar uh, Luigi's Mansion is a direct in Mario series. Well, not really. If you look at it, all the other game, all the other characters are from Mario titles, except for, um, except for Luigi's Mansion. We did not have a Luigi with the Poltergust. We do not have anything like that. All the other characters are from Mario games, whether it's Mario Galaxy, Mario, Super Mario, blah, blah, blah. They're all the rest from those games. So that is my first guess is going to be Professor Egag. Another guess I could have would be Plessy. Um, I, I think that Plessy maybe could be a possible character. Um, I think that Birdo could be another possible character. Um, I think there we have a high chance of that character, if there is one, being Diddy Kong. Uh, I do believe that Diddy Kong could be a possible character. Um, and the final, uh, the, I mean, um, I'm sorry, the two other ones that I have, one is uh, a lot of people, ha or I have three left. Um, one is going to be Nabbit. That's the one I'll just say, just because a lot of fans love Nabbit. The other one I wanted to say is a lot of people have been wanting PD Piranha to actually come back uh, into the Mario games. So it could be PD Piranha as well. Um, people have speculated that that spot is for PD Piranha. In the last time, uh, the last time, Petey Piranha and King Boo showed up together in a Mario Kart game was Mario Kart Double Dash where they were partners together. So a lot of people think that they will be coming together in this matchup, uh, in this in this game. Um, but I believe that that is not true. I believe that, uh, I mean, I believe that it is true. It is a possibility. The other one, um, I thought of being it and I had, I watched a video and this guy uh, made it very clear that this could actually happen is Captain Toad to be a playable character in the game and have a switch off menu of uh, Treasure Tracker Toadette as well um, being another option, uh, for, you know, another like like the different colored Yoshis. Instead, you would have uh, Toadette. So that is just my other option. Also, people have speculated that uh, just like in the other DLC where they had different color Yoshis, different color Shy Guys, we will now have different color Toads uh, to come to the console as well. And maybe, just maybe, one of them will be Treasure Tra uh, Trevor Tracker Toadette and, uh, and Captain Toad. Um, so yeah, those are my uh, basic predictions for the Mario, the new, I mean, the, the characters that could come. Now, we could have a total... Uh, we could have a total, uh, you know, throw for a loop here. It could be like Zelda. It could be Kirby, uh, Star Fox. It could be other cool characters like that. But I'm going to get off the Mario Kart stuff for a while. That took most of the episode. Super excited for Mario Kart Deluxe. Cannot wait for it to come out, to be honest. And just to play as Bowser Jr. Uh, really, I just want to play as Bowser Jr. so bad. Uh, after auto break, we uh, auto save, we are going to come back and talk about more. Okay, guys. So really quickly, we are going to uh, just quickly go. 
um, with other things that I think are going to come to the Switch. One thing I want at the top of my priori pri 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 priority list before anything else. I want a new Super Mario Sluggers game, Super Mario or Mario Baseball Switch Hitter, Switch, get it, Switch, Switch Hitter to come out, come on, with the motion, the new Joy-Con motion controls, it would actually be so freaking cool to have that happen. I want that to happen so bad. Please, Nintendo, if anyone from your place is watching this, all the fans want a new Mario Baseball game. Um, before anything I actually I think that we could see um, maybe a new Mario Golf or a new Mario um, I'm sorry super uh, strikers as well which is a uh, a football I'm sorry or football or soccer whatever you want to look at it a uh, game for the uh, switch but I think baseball is probably most likely and most wanted by the fans um, I also think that we're going to see a new Mario Party uh, game type I hope that we see a new Yoshi's Island on the Switch, Yoshi's Island Switch, um, which gets more attacked with the babies. Um, I would love to see the babies. Obviously, guys, we are going to have Minecraft Switch Edition has already been released. I'm hoping that 4J or Nintendo puts out a new Mario Skin Pack 2 or Legend of Zelda Skin Pack or Nintendo's favorite Skin Pack with like Kirby and Star Fox. That would be absolutely awesome. If we had Mario Skin Pack 2, we could have like a Goomba skin. We could have um, more Hammer Bros, more colored Yoshis, more colored Toads. We could have the bit. I mean, it really would not be that hard for them to make. We could have Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Baby Peach, um, Baby daisy uh we could have metal mario we could have um just just more characters i would love to have the critters um dixie kong i would love to have those guys uh king k rule i would love to have official booze um like booze and king booze so i don't have to use blimpy uh, the gaskin um i would love to have just like literally there's so many other mario characters that they could put they could have an official nabbit an official plessy um, skin and we don't have to use the ones that we use anymore just a whole bunch of other characters that could come to the console that i'm very very excited for um and they, they didn't even have to they could just add them in a drop down menu like they did mario kart 8 where uh, you could select your color yoshi or something like that even something little that comes to uh, minecraft switch edition um that would be absolutely awesome and it actually would help on my channel a heck of a lot folks let me tell you a heck of a heck of a lot so uh those are the things that i'm pretty much looking forward to coming out on the switch uh number one obviously being super mario slugger a baby baby baseball for the switch um and also a a i would love to see um mario super uh smash bros uh, a port for the week not it probably will not be a new game it will probably be like uh super mario I'm sorry, Mario Kart, where it's just going to be a port. It will be like Super Smash Bros. Deluxe or something like that. And maybe have new characters like Waluigi uh, to be a possible character. Uh, and, and just other characters from the Mario uh, universe. They could add new characters and new stages just to make it some new DLC for whoever wants to buy the game. So it's just you're just not buying the same game on a different console. But guys, that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today. If you agree or have anything else that you want to see come through the Switch, let me know in the comment section below. That would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that. If you disagree with anything I said or have different ideas for Mario Kart players that could possibly be coming, if that question mark space is actually for another character, and let's hope it is, um, because uh, more Mario Kart characters is always more fun. So uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do go down below and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe for more Mario content every single day. And guys, we will see See you in the next one. Peace out, boys. Bye.